Hello people, Divi AI is here. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? Let me tell you what you can do with it and what my opinion is. So let's dive right in with the features of Divi AI. In order to make use of Divi AI, go to 30 corpcom forward slash Divi AI. Hit enter. You can watch this video if you want to. You can click on get Divi AI today. Then you'll scroll down. And at this moment of recording, you get 40% off. You can, if you're a new member, you can sign up over here. If you already have Divi, you can get a discount, but you can also use this for free for a hundred times. In order to do that, go to your website, your Divi website, in my case, divi5.com. Then you need to have an active membership. So I go to Divi theme options and at updates, make sure you have your username and your API key over here. Otherwise you cannot use it and make sure if you go to dashboard updates that your Divi theme is up to date. I go to my website. I enable the visual builder. So the first thing is improving text. Let me show you what you can do with that. Then I go to the text over here or maybe, maybe better. I go over here to layers. And I go for the full width header, this text over here. I click on it. Look at this, generate content with AI. So I can scroll down. There's the text over here and I can click on AI. I can write with AI, I can improve with AI. So let's improve this text with AI. What are you writing about? We help all kinds of companies to get more clients and make more sales. So I want uh, them to generate a text. There you have it. Two results, but it's a lot of text. So what I can do, I can click over here and say shorten it. Okay, a few solutions. Or I can go back, click on it again. Copy this, click on it again. Improve with AI. Write a 20 words text about, and I paste the text, generate text. Now it will be 20 words. There are two examples. Okay, use this text. So now it's better. There are more ways to improve the text. Let me show you a few more things you can do. What else? If I create a new area, and I want to have some text. I can uh, generate content with AI. There's some text already, but look at this, what we can do. I, I show you already how to improve things, but you can also change the tone, creative, professional, funny, all this stuff over here. You can translate it. So let's uh, change it to Dutch because I know Dutch. And let's see how it does. I can check it because I know how to speak Dutch. Wow. Flawless. Looks great. This is the English one. Really nice. I can retry it. Uh, translate, change the tone, make it more detailed, descriptive, engaging. What I also can do, I can simplify it. I can rewrite it for beginners. So a lot of things you can do in order to, to write copy for your website. So this was text. Let's talk about images. Let's auto generate an image. If I scroll down, there are also images I can improve or I can create a new image. So I can click over here. I can get rid of the image and I can create an image with AI generate with AI, or I can say generate automatically. So based on the content around it, but it's a lot of lorem ipsum. So I wonder what he will do, but let's try it. So based on my website, it came up with these images and I can use them. They're royalty free. I can also say generate more like this one. Okay. I can also give the style in the photo style, digital painting, drawing, 3d render cartoon. 
So let's go for a concept art. Let's have some fun. So there I go. Use this image. Now it looks like this. So auto image generation is okay. What about creating an image from scratch using a prompt? Let me show you what you can do with that. There's so much you can do with this. Look at this. We can go back. We can also generate it with AI. Tell Divi about the image you would like it to create. Amsterdam at sunset with a beautiful sky. Well, seeing a big company building. I can even upload a reference image. I want this to be square. I can make it bigger. Let's say 1120. So um, I click on generate. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, this is this is typical Amsterdam. So wow, this could be the building. I think it's called uh, the Hero Strat, <laughs> the Lord's Street. Now it's generating the image that I chose. There you go. So we went from this to this. Absolutely stunning. But wait, there's more. I can save this. And by the way, let me show you. If I go to the media area, 1120 by 1120. That is amazing. Wow. And I can use this image for free. Wow. This is, this is crazy. I already have images on my website. Let me show you how you can improve them. Maybe you have an image that is uh, bought or maybe you don't want to buy images. So you use stock photo that you did not buy with all those watermarks and stuff. Then you can use ways to reimagine the image and then you don't have to use the stock image anymore illegally. Let me show you how we can do that. By the way, I'm not showing you how to do illegal stuff, of course. Okay, just let me show you how you can reimagine an image you have on your website. So if I would go to the services page, let me exit the visual builder. I go to the service page. Don't mind this uh, header over here. I enable the visual builder. What else can we do with images? I scroll down and I see this beautiful lady. I click over here. Actually, she doesn't need any improvement, but let's try something. I can click over here. I can just say reimagine. So maybe you grabbed an image from Google, which is not yours. You don't have to copyright things for it. Then you can just say reimagine and something new will be created. As you see over here. So um, you can grab one. Use the image. There you go. Like that. I'm going to be honest with you, not everything is working smoothly yet. And sometimes it really takes a long time before the images are uh, being shown. So to show you an example over here, what I would like to do is click over here, go to the background image, click over here and say upscale two times or four times. So it will be sharper, but it gets stuck. So what I would prefer to do is get rid of this image and then create a new one, generate with AI. And I would like it to be a photo. Then I say a group of business people in a conference room negotiating at a table, having a good time. Let's see what that, that does. I can have an upload a uh, reference image. I can <laughs> upload a reference image. Uh, there's no 16 by nine. So I can say a custom size of 90, 20 by 1080. Then I can generate And this seems to be working fine every time, but upscaling, reimagining, sometimes it gets stuck. So, uh, but it's, it's new. They're working on it, but look at this. Uh, there are some glitches over here, <laughs> which I did not see. <laughs> Wow, that's not good. So let's go back. Wow, that's not good. So I want to be honest with that. It's all new also with Elementor, also with uh, Mid Journey. So there are errors. Some photos are amazing. Some are just not. Group 
of people in a conference room. Maybe 20,080 generate. So let's take a closer look over here or over here. One of them in the last 12 months, there has been so much improvement. So I guess that within 12 months, it will be even better. But right now that image we just saw was garbage. We should not use that at all on our professional website. There it is. I don't like it. So keep in mind that it's not perfect yet. So what are your opinions about it? As I said before, uh, I like it. A few things I like, a few things I don't like, the, the really bad images that come up. Uh, but what I like is generating an image from scratch. And as long as there are no faces of people in it, it's doing a great job. With Amsterdam, it did a great job. But with the, the, the desk and the people, it's messing things up. So as I said before, 12 months ago, it was totally different when we you were creating images. It's getting better and better. So I assume it will improve. What are your opinions? Let me know in the comments. And do you think it's worth the price? And what I want to talk about is if you start from scratch, you only need a title and a tagline that can help the VAI already to help you to create a text and an image. Let me show you how you can do that. I close this and I close this and I exit the visual builder. If I go to the back end to settings general and I call this one home decor green fur sure. Find, find the best green furniture, furniture for your home. So I have the title on the tagline. I save it. Now, if I open a new page, home green furniture, publish. I want to use the Diffy Builder. And I have no content at all. I build it from scratch. If I have two areas, one is a text and I say generate content with AI or even better over here, write automatically. It will write based on the title and the tagline of the website because there's no text around it. Look at this. I can choose between two results. Again, I can uh, rewrite it, simplify it, shorten it, rephrase it. And use this. So that's only based on the title and the tagline. I can do the same with an image. Generate automatically. So it takes a look at the title, the tagline and this text. So based on all the information around it, when you create something automatically with Divi AI or Elegant Themes AI, then it will be based on all the information on that particular page and the site title and the tagline. So you see the green, you see the furniture. So that's really nice. So the more information you have on your website, the easier it becomes for Divi or Elegant Themes AI to, to fill in the right images and the right text. So if I would have a homepage with a lot of text, right now it's all lorem ipsum. So it doesn't have a lot of reference text to give great images. But if this all would be normal text, I would create something new over here and just say fill in automatically, then it will be based on all the information. And that's something I've not seen yet with other AI tools within WordPress. So that's a cool thing. If you want to get Divi AI, you can go to 30corp.com forward slash Divi AI, hit enter. And you can click on get Divi AI today. At this moment, there's 40% discount. If you pay yearly, you save 40%, here you save 20%. So I can click on sign up today, save 40% today. I will fill in my details. Now I can return to my account and then all your websites with Divi can have unlimited prompts, unlimited images 
for all websites you want. So that's it. I gave you my opinion. Uh, some things I like, some things I don't like. What I also don't like, it's that sometimes really slow. It takes minutes to do something. And then if it takes minutes, it's often get stuck. So nothing will happen. But also uh, creating the image sometimes takes 40 seconds. Uh, besides that, I think it's a nice, um, a nice development. And then we'll see what it will bring us. I think it's still pricey, but it depends. If you create, if you have 20 websites with Divi, then it justifies the price. If you only have one website and you want to improve it once with a text and a few images, and you have to pay every month for it, then it's a lot of money. So it's up to you if you want to have it or not. I bought it and uh, I'm happy and I hope it will improve soon. So thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. My name is Freddy and I will say to you, have a great day and bye bye.